proposed rule change by the state game and fish department has caught the attention of fishermen. It would change how you can transport the fish you've caught. Now, under the proposal, any one fish caught could only be cut into two pieces. Anything over two pieces would count as two fish against your daily limit. Some anglers argue this would promote waste since a large walleye could be cut into as many as five pieces. Greg Power with the Game and Fish Department says it's simply to save time for game wardens so they can do their job more efficiently. And those coolers are full of fillets. And then they went and took that one fillet and staked it and cut it and everything else into little cubes. And it's that one fillet now is 10 pieces, five pieces. All of a sudden, I mean, what do you have there? You just have this jigsaw puzzle that you got to try to put back together. Power says this is only a proposed rule and they're gathering input. He says if anglers take issue, they are willing to make some exceptions if fishermen simply want the extra cuts of their walleye. Power says other states have already implemented the rule. If adopted here, it would go into effect April 1st. One North Dakota man is making ice fishing a lot easier. Jason Nelson created the app called Explorer, available on your phone or computer. Users are, users are now able to access more than 100 fishing holes ranging from Williams County all the way to McLean. It provides directions to each fishing hole, dock openings, and whether or not fish are active there. Nelson says although this app has many perks, there are things you should still be cautious of. It's really important for, uh, for everyone to understand, for the recreating public, anglers, etc., to understand that the app itself does not in any way reflect uh, ice access conditions. Um, we, want the, we want to get the information out there, tell everybody where the access locations are. Um, but it, you know, when you're going out there to fish, uh, any angler has to assess the situation on their own. Tune in to KX News tonight at